Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be evaluating a trigonometric expression in terms of another one. We're given that tangent 19 degrees is equal to x, and we're supposed to find tangent 5 degrees in terms of x. We've done problems like this before, and I'll share the links with you. You can look at other problems. So we have to establish a relationship between the 19 and the 5 degrees. As you might already know, I don't always write the degree symbol, even though the angles are always in degrees. Okay, so please don't complain about it because I'm not going to be writing the degree symbol from this point on. But it's understood. So, how do we relate 19 degrees to 5 degrees? Well, I'm going to be using uh, the double angle formula and the triple angle formula and a couple other things. I'll put it all together. Okay, let's see how this goes. So, I'll, I'll start with doubling the 19 degrees. That's going to give me 38. As you know, or you should already know this, right? Tangent 2 alpha can be written as 2 tangent alpha divided by 1 minus tangent squared alpha. Okay, so we're going to be using this formula first for alpha equals 19. So if you replace alpha with 19 degrees everywhere, you're going to get tangent 2 times 19, which is 38. Again, these are in degrees. 2 times tangent 19 divided by 1 minus tangent squared 19. Since we know that tangent 19 is equal to x, we can write this as 2x divided by 1 minus x squared. Now, I got the value of tangent 38 in terms of x, and I'm going to be using it in another expression. Okay, great. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, since I know the 38 and the 19, I'm going to use the sum formula. And the sum formula goes like this. Tangent alpha plus beta can be written as tangent alpha plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus tangent alpha times tangent beta. This is the formula I'm going to be using. So I can write tangent 57 as tangent 38 plus 19. In other words, I'm using the triple angle formula without using the triple angle formula. Okay. So this is equivalent to tangent 38 plus tangent 19 divided by 1 minus tangent 38 times tangent 19. Again, angles are all in degrees. So now we do have the value of tangent 38. So we're going to replace tangent 38 with that, which is 2x over 1 minus x squared. And as you know, tangent 19 is equal to x. And we're going to divide it by 1 minus tangent 38 multiply by x, which is going to make it just 2x squared over 1 minus x squared. Okay. Now let's make a common denominator, and this is going to give us the value of tangent 57, which is 3 times 19, by the way. So making a common denominator, and notice that 1 minus x squared at the end is going to cancel out, so I might as well just forget about it, and just make a common denominator, 2x, plus x will be multiplied by 1 minus x squared, that is going to be plus x minus x cubed, and then that'll be divided by 1 minus x squared, 1 times 1 minus x squared, and now we're going to subtract 2x squared from it. So it's going to be like 1 minus x squared minus 2x squared. And this is equivalent to 3x minus x cubed divided by 1 minus 3x squared. And this is tangent 57. So we got the value of tangent 57 as well. So let's go ahead and circle this. Now, we do have the value of tangent 57, we do have the value of tangent 38, and we're going to put those two together, the 57 and the 38. Why? Because if you add 57 plus 38, that is going to give us 95, and from 95, you can go to 5 degrees. From 95 degrees to 5 degrees, all you have to do is subtract 90. Okay, or use some identity. So let's go ahead and do the following. We want to be able to find tangent 95, and that can be written as tangent 57 plus 38. And tangent 57 plus 38 can be written as tangent 57 plus tangent 38 divided by 1 minus tangent 57 times tangent 38. In other words, I start off with 19, and I'm using the quintuple angle formula, if there's something that exists, 
but basically what I'm doing is I'm multiplying the 19 by 5 and 19 times 5 is 95 and that's how I'm getting this. But I just use the double and the triple angle formula separately and put it all together. So you don't have to memorize it. Like I don't think anybody would memorize tangent 3 alpha, but tangent 2 alpha would be helpful. Okay. So now we got the values for tangent 57 and tangent 38. So let's go ahead and replace those to find tangent 95. Okay. Tangent 57 will be replaced with 3x minus x cubed over 1 minus 3x squared. 38 would be replaced with 2x over 1 minus x squared. Remember, it was 2 times 19. And then the bottom is just going to be the same thing, but they're going to be multiplied. Okay. So we're going to do the replacements and simplify this gigantic monstrous expression. Okay, let's go ahead and simplify this and see what happens. So I have tangent 95. One way to do it is obviously making a common denominator in the numerator, but notice that the bottom and the top are going to have the same denominator. So I might as well forget about the denominators again because that's they're going to be the same. So let's just focus on making a common denominator in the numerator and the denominator of this complex fraction. I hope this makes sense. So I'm going to take the 3x minus x cubed and multiply that by 1 minus x squared to make a common denominator and then take the 2x multiply by 1 minus 3x squared. That's going to make the common denominator for the numerator and we don't need, I mean the numerator for the numerator. So I'll, I just need the numerators, okay? Because the denominators are the same, they cancel out. Okay, for the bottom, uh, I'm going to have the product of these two things, 1 minus 3x squared because I'm multiplying them by 1. So it's going to become 1 minus 3x squared multiply by 1 minus x squared and then from that I need to subtract 2x times 3x minus x cubed which comes from here. Okay, cool. So this is what I have. Let's go ahead and simplify this expression and write it in the simplest form. And if you actually simplify this, I'm going to spare you the trouble because you can do this. It's not too hard. It's uh, just time consuming. So in, in the interest of time, let me go ahead and tell you what it is. It's going to become x to the fifth power minus 10x to the third power plus 5x divided by 5x to the fourth minus 10x squared plus 1, if I didn't make any mistakes. Now, what's the relationship between 95 and 5? Let's go ahead and establish that. Well, tangent 95 can be written as tangent 90 plus 5 and as you know 90 is going to change the name from tangent to cotangent and it's going to put our angle in the second quadrant therefore making it a negative cotangent. So this is equal to negative cotangent 5. So negative cotangent 5 is then equal to x to the fifth power minus 10x to the third plus 5x over 5x to the fourth power minus 10x squared plus 1. Now I want to be able to get tangent 5 from here so remember that negative cotangent 5 can be written as negative 1 over tangent 5 equals this and from here I can just flip and negate and get the answer that way in terms of x. Since this is negative 1 over tangent 5, tangent 5 is going to equal the reciprocal of this but negate it so it's going to look like negative 5x to the fourth power plus 10x squared minus 1 divided by x to the fifth minus 10x cubed plus 5x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.